Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. So it was suggested to show what we're working on automatically. And uh, my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. It's Friday night. Yeah. So we're going to have our paint party. That's right. Irish blessings tonight. So say hello, hello, hello. If you're painting with me, say hello, hello, hello. If someone's painting with you, painting with me. Let me show you my handy dandy table. And of course, we have to give props to you know who. -who. Say hi to your fans, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Look at that waggity tail. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. <laughs> All right, let me show you my handy dandy table so you know what we're working with. We have Big Boy. He is a one inch flat. We have Mini Me in the house. He is a small shader. We have Tiny hanging out with us. He is a uh, round brush for details. Of course, Mr. Nifty is here. We won't put him in the water. And I got my soda, I got my paint, same colors every single party. Black, blue, red, a yellow, and a white. <laughs> so hello, 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 Sheila. How you doing, sweetheart? Punky's in the house. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> we had an awesome conversation earlier, right, Punky? Yeah, it was good stuff. It was good stuff. So I've got a new setup. All right, guys. Um, we're in a new spot in my house. Uh, we're, this was the old spot. I was standing over here. And uh, this is the new spot, so this way I have all the space in my house. And I think the lighting's going to be better, so we're going to check it out. And hopefully it works out for you guys, okay? So, hey, 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 Marsha, what's going on? Cindy's hanging out with us tonight. Hello, 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 Cindy. How you doing, sweetheart? All right, so I am writing everyone's names down so we can do roll call. I'm going to put you guys in your handy-dandy holder. And we're going to get this thing started. Oh, yeah. Kim is in the house. Hi, Kim. How you doing, sweetie? What's going on? Hello, 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 Kim. So we got Kim in the house. I'm going to stand in my new little spot here. Let's see how this works out. I hope it works out okay. Because I'm not going to move everything around. <laughs> and I hope the lighting is better for you guys. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do this thing. We're going to do this thing. All right. So I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas. Hello, 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 Diane. Diane's being a watcher tonight. Oh, yeah. So it's 16 this way, 20 straight up and down. Uh, if you're working on something smaller, a little bit different. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much for that, Kim. Um, you know, as long as you're in the general area of your canvas that I'm in, you will be fine, all right? And if you have any questions, absolutely comment and ask me. And if I miss it, ask it again. <laughs> all right, so I can't show you both at once. Take a screenshot if you need the reference. And we're going to do this thing. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes, I am. All right, I got Sheila, Punky, Marsha, Cindy, Kim, and Diane so far. Right? And we're going to be hanging out. And a few more people are going to be popping on because it's, um, it's a little bit before 7. So we might get a few more people coming on here, which is fine. Oh, the almighty blank canvas is so scary. It's so scary. Yes, but we're going to hit it with our almighty brushes and we're going to fix it up real good like. <laughs> real good like. That's, uh, that's, that's great English you got there, Eve. <laughs> That's really good English we're working with. <laughs> Cynthia's here. Hi, Cynthia. So, uh, just a reminder, all my videos are kid-friendly, so I'm going to try to watch this thing. You guys uh, watch your comments, and we'll be good to go. It is always free to watch. Tips are appreciated. Stars is enabled, and I have uh, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. I think those links are available, too. I'm not sure. I'm not so good with this technology stuff. Hi, Cynthia. How you doing, love? Hello, 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 sweetheart. Cynthia's in the house. Oh, yeah. So... Like I said, uh, we're going to get this thing started. I'm going to be using uh, Big Boy first. He is a one inch flat. So if you guys get your paints together, all right, and we're going to be doing a uh, rainbow. 
we're going to be doing a rainbow. So, let's get started. Swirl, tap, dab your brush. Um, oh, I didn't tell you guys. So, you swirl on your cup, you tap on the side, and you dab on your paper towel. You want to dab in the shape of your bristles, and you want them to be wet but not dripping. All right. I think I got it all. So, we're going to start off with just yellow. Just yellow. And when you guys pull your paint tonight, make sure you pull from the sides because we're going to be mixing a lot of different things. So make sure you pull from the side. Don't kerplunk. We don't want any kerplunkers. No. We don't want any kerplunkers in the house. And we're going to find our center. Oh. We're going to find our center and we're going to be all zenned out. Yes. All right. And you want to do a triangle up that way and a triangle up this way. And you're just going to fill it in all with yellow. So we always do our yellow area bigger than what we want it to be because it gets swallowed up really, really, really fast. So you always want to make it bigger than what you actually want it because yellow gets swallowed up real fast like. And uh, we don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen because we still want some of our yellow. We still want to see some of our yellow. Yes, we do. Yes, 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 we do. Yes, yes, yes. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to be making um, orange. I'm going to try to tighten this thing. It seems to be rocking and rolling a lot. All right. So we're going to be making orange. So we want to grab our red. All right, and we're going to grab uh, a bit of the yellow. And we don't have to do white first because we're doing white. The canvas is white. Hello, 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 Carolyn. So we don't have to do white first. Okay, and you're going to start off over here. Start off away from your yellow. All right, and then work your way in towards it because um, this way you don't wind up swallowing it all up. And then when you get to the point of it being next to the yellow, right, wipe off your brush, wipe off your brush, and then just go in between the two like this. Just go in between the two colors just like that, nice and soft like, okay? And make sure that you just wipe off your brush first. That's all. And you're going to go in between the two, nice and soft, as far over as you want your orange to be. So, I'm grabbing red and yellow see and i'm going to start over here and i'm going to work my way towards the yellow i'm going to work my way towards the yellow and then when i get to the yellow when i get to the yellow could help if i finished filling in the rest right <laughs> that could help i was so excited on how to tell you the how to how to how to instruct how to blend the yellow and the orange that I forgot. All right, and now I'm gonna wipe my brush off. Wipe your brush off, wipe it off. Now go in between the two colors, nice and soft. Nice and soft. So go into the yellow and then work your way out into your yellow a little bit. Work your way out. Okay, and then the same on the other side. All right, and it's up to you how much of a yellow stripe do you want. It's totally up to you. All right, so you can make that as, you know, you can work the orange in really far. Or you can just do a few little strokes, whatever you want to do. Hi, Andrea. Hello, 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 sweetheart. Everybody, welcome Andrea to the family. She's hanging out with us tonight. What's up? How you doing, lovey? <laughs> and um i don't where's it where's my tina's at the tina's aren't here sue is here i uh, just got home had no sleep on an errand snowstorm tomorrow paint later if you can sounds good to me sue hello 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 lovey all right and we're gonna send uh healing prayers to you so you feel a little bit better so everybody send some well wishes to sue send some well wishes to sue got you girl we got you that's right so um, that way you're feeling a little bit better. And everybody give a warm Eve's creation. Welcome to Andrea. Oh, yeah. She's joining us tonight. That's right. 6,000%. Gotta say hi to Andrea. 
All right, so I did that yellow and orange really fast because you have to do it while your paint's still wet. If you go to do this, you're welcome, baby. If you go to do this and your yellow dries, you're not going to be able to do it. So that's why I did it so quickly, even though people are still popping on. Um, you need this yellow to be wet. And then you're going to work the orange towards your yellow. And then you're going to do wipe your brush off. Key, wipe your brush off. Get all the excess orange off of it. And um, then go in between your orange and yellow to get that soft blend. That's how you do that. Okay? That's how we do that. And uh, I want to swirl tap that big boy, and then we're going to grab just red. I'm going to grab um, just red with big boy. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm kind of in this, um, I'm kind of in this corner, like, I don't know, hi, <laughs> earthquake. Like, I'm in this, like, little corner right here, and it's a little weird for me. I'm used to having, like, all this open space, and, like, the table's, like, right in front of me, like, right over here. But that's okay. That's all right. I'll get used to it. <laughs> it's weird when you change, like, your spot. You know what I mean? But now I have all this open room uh, putting this onto the wall, and plus you won't see my whole living room when I move the paintings and all that good stuff. And also, Butters gets to run through here. And uh, <laughs> he's not used to it being wide open either. <laughs> he goes sliding. Whoosh. <laughs> he, he runs through and he goes sliding, like, right into the kitchen. It's great. <laughs> 6,000%. All right. So, I swirl tap that big boy. We want to get all the yellow out of them, and now we're going to go with uh, red. Now we're going to go with red, okay? And you're going to come in here, and you're going to do the red. And you can do the red right on top of into the orange. Since it's darker, it's going to blend into that. Hello, 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 Tippy. Welcome, sweetheart. Everybody welcome Tippy to the family. She's new. She's a newbie. Hello, 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 Tippy. How you doing, lovey? All right, so now we're going to do red. And you want the red, you want the red to angle down until you are like halfway. You finally made it. Tina B is here. Hi, Tina. <laughs> hello, hello, sweetheart. So, and you're going to do your red about halfway. And then you can just go over your orange a little bit and come back. Okay? So, you're going to do your red so you're about halfway. All right? Flatten this all out. Hello, hello, lovey. Out oh, working late, making that money. Making those dollar bills, you all. Right? Dollar, dollar bills. Yes. So, and if you're using craft paint, it's it might be a little tricky for you to do the blending. So, if you just um you know, you can just do a solid a solid stripe between your colors. That's fine too. That'll look just as cool. So, if you're having a little difficulty with the blending part, it might not be you. It might be the paint. So, just keep that in mind. I don't want anybody getting frustrated. So we are going to do the red, right? And red needs two coats. So we're going to let that dry. And then we're going to come back and uh, throw another coat on there. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Tina B is here. Oh, yeah. Well, sit back, relax, put your feet up. Work is done. Weekend is here. And it's all good. It's all good. So, why I have that red on my brush, I'm going to grab, while I have the red on my brush, I am going to grab doo -doo 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 -doo, the blue. So, I'm going to go red, and I'm going to go blue. 
blue, like I said, pull from the sides, guys, because we're going to be mixing a lot of colors. See how I have just the side of the yellow with the red, just the side of the blue with the red? So pull from your sides. And then with the blue and the red, you want to come down here, and we're going to do our purple. We're going to do our purple. And I made the triangle about the same as the triangle with the yellow. Okay, so I made the triangle about the same as the triangle I did with the yellow. Right, now I'm going to pull from the side. Make sure you don't pick up any of that yellow that might have been in your red. Alright, because then you're going to wind up with, um, you're going to wind up with brown. You're not going to wind up with purple. Okay, and we're going to do the purple. And if you want this to be a lighter purple, Right? If you don't like it um, that dark, you can pick up a little bit of white. If you pick up a little bit of white, right, which I'm going to do right now, if I add a little bit of white to this, just a smidge, just a smidge, it'll make that purple lighter. See? So if you want a lighter purple, you can add a little bit of white to it, and it'll make the purple lighter lighter for you it's up to you personal preference it don't matter it doesn't matter it's your painting do what you want to do I'm just here to show you how to do it you guys can uh, make your painting any way you want and I just picked up a little bit of white and a little bit of red and see how that's changing it too so play 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 with your colors yes <laughs> and you got to run errands with your husband. You're going to watch this later. All right, Cindy. Sounds good. Have fun. See you later. <laughs> Enjoy the replay. Replays are always, always, always available. YouTube and on my page. So thanks for popping on and saying hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So I'm swirl tapping my brush. We're going to get all that um, red out of it. We're going to get all the red out. Getting the red out. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to grab just blue. You grab just blue. And I'm going to come on the other side of this. Swoop. One that way. Swoop. One this way. Right? And you kind of want to have it to hit your corner. I hit my corner like a little bit up. Just a couple little fingers upwards. Just it. Just a little bit up from the corner. That's what I did. You guys do what you want. No matter to me. Like I said, it's your creation. It's your creation. Yes, it is. Whoop. <laughs> you don't have to worry about going out of the lines because this part's gonna this part's gonna be green. So if you get a little blue in that part, that's fine. And you just go into your purple. Go a little bit in, a little bit out. With this being darker, it doesn't, um, you don't have to stress the uh, blending too much like we did with the yellow. The yellow you stress a little bit because um, it'll really, really um, wind up chewing up all of your yellow. So you want to be super, super careful. But with the darker colors, you don't have to worry so much. You don't have to stress it that much. Nope. Because they just go on, and the blue's kind of a see-through paint, too. I mean, that's the way acrylics are. Uh, you know, that's why it's all done in layers. So, that's why we don't stress it too much, right? So, if you go over your purple with the blue, it's going to blend right, right together. It's going to blend nice and easy for you. Tonight's painting is nice and easy. Nothing nothing hard about tonight's painting. The, the hardest part we just did. The hardest part is this orange blend right here. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Brenda. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you for the star, sweetheart. You're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Hello, 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 Brenda. How are you doing tonight? I hope all is well with you. <laughs> I hope all is well with you. All right, so now what we're going to do is while this is still wet, the blue, 
All right, we're going to grab our yellow from the other side, the clean side. We're going to grab our yellow, and we're going to grab some blue, the, the clean side, not the side with the red. You missed you. have been busy? Yeah, I can understand that. And then you're going to go with your green. You're going to go right up against your blue like this. You're going to go right up against your blue. You're going to wipe your brush off. And then you just go in between the two. You just go in between the two and soften that line out. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to grab my yellow. I'm going to grab it with my blue. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to put my green line in. And you want to do this while your blue's wet. Because if your blue dries already, it's not going to work. I'm going to wipe my brush off. And I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to go between the two. Soften that right out. And that's it. And then the rest, you can just fill in with green. You can fill it in with green. And if you want more of a, uh, like a turquoise green, um... You just add a little bit of white to it. But remember, our cross, our cross is going to be green. So, <laughs> I missed you too, lovey. So you don't want to turn around and make this like a really light green because we're going to be making our cross green. So you want to make sure that you're going to have two different greens going on. All right, that's all. That's all. All right, and then when I got to where the red was, and make sure you're doing this nice and thin, all right? Because if this doesn't dry, if this doesn't dry, you're not going to be able to uh, get your cross on there. All right, and then when I got to the red part, when I got to the red part, I just did two little hills, like the hills of Ireland. Like the hills of Ireland. Just like that. Just like that. Right up. Just make a little swoop. Just a little swoop. Where am I putting the... I don't know. I can't see the rest of your sentence there, Brenda. Where am I putting the what? Where did I put the what? I don't know. Just like that. Oh, where did I put the bowl of gold? Ha <laughs> ha ha! Butters took it. <laughs> Butters took it on me. That's what, where I put the bowl, the bowl of gold. Right. So I'm gonna do a swoop here, and I'm gonna do a swoop over there, just like the hills of Ireland. That's that's right. Just like that. And just like that, guys, you did a rainbow blast. What? So, I'm going to scroll tap dab my brush uh, really, 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 really good. I'm going to scroll tap dab my brush really good. Really, 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 really good. Because what I want to do is I want to grab my yellow. So I got to make sure this is super duper 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 clean. Like all of the color is out of it. And I want to go back to my clean yellow. And I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to put the yellow on one more time. And I'm gonna go into my orange with it. And this is gonna soften that line between the two even more. So I'm going back with my, uh, but you gotta make sure your brush is super, super, super clean and you're grabbing clean yellow paint, okay? And I'm gonna go into my orange with that and it's going to soften 
the orange even more. All right, so make sure everything's super duper 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 clean because if you don't, you're gonna wind up with a color and you're yellow and you're gonna you're gonna have a problem. <laughs> you're gonna have a problem. Yes. <laughs> And we don't want that. We don't want any of that. All right. There we are. All right. So I'll give you guys a chance to uh, catch up mustard here. I'll give you a chance to catch up mustard. I'm going to take a little sip of my soda. It's sip time. Take a sip. <laughs> We're all having a sip. So those with your juice boxes and whatever else you're sipping upon, enjoy. Because you guys just did a rainbow blast. What? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You just did a rainbow blast. Just like that. So, Sheila's in the house. Punky is here. We got Marsha. Cindy left to go be with her husband. And then we have Kim, Diane, Cynthia, Carolyn, Andrea's new to the fam. Hello, sweetheart. Sue is here. Tippy's new to the fam. Hello, sweetheart. Tina B and Brenda in the house. Oh, yes. You guys catch up, Mustard, on your rainbow blast. I've got green paint somewhere on my shirt. <laughs> because it's getting all over my arm. See that? Got green paint all the way up here on my arm. Um, I wore my uh, rainbow bunnies tonight. Just for tonight's painting. I like this shirt. Somebody said it's like Pokemon or something, but I like that the bunny painted these guys with his little tail. See that? See that? Isn't that cool? So, wearing my uh, rainbow bunny shirt just for tonight. Yes, so, and we're all excited for Tuesday, right? We got um, Nosy Gnome coming up with Tuesday. You like your shirt. Do you ever intentionally paint on t-shirts? Uh, Sue, I, um, when I ma first, first made a business shirt for myself, I got fabric paint. I got green paint all over my hand, too. And um, I made my business shirt. <laughs> it wasn't that good. <laughs> fabric paint's like a whole other animal. So, um, and I did acrylic paint on, uh, a shirt I made for Halloween. I made a monster out of a green shirt and I got, they sell these really big googly eyes. So I put two big googly eyes and a big old tongue coming out. And, uh, I made this green t-shirt look like a big green monster. And, uh, I painted acrylic paint on that. And it was much easier than using fabric paint, just to let you know. But I had to use a few coats, and I had to put cardboard in between to make sure it didn't bleed through. I had to make sure it didn't bleed through. But most of my painting on shirts is accidental. And I don't know where, um, I have no idea where that green paint is, but I'm getting it all over myself. <laughs> all right, so Tuesday, Tuesday before St. Patty's, nosy gnome. Yes, and we're going to be doing our final rainbow, so, and here's the pot of gold, we found it, we found the pot of gold, so, we're going to be doing all sorts of cool stuff on Tuesday, what, what, so, if you guys got metallic paint, get out that metallic paint you got hanging out, so you can have fun with that one, maybe some glitter, all that happy stuff, you know, go rogue, go rogue, go rogue. Okie dokie. So, we're going to be doing our cross now. And you guys can make your cross any way you, you want to. I made mine. I call these dog bone edges. So, let me show you the original here real quick. I call these dog bone edges. Like, they look like the edge of a dog bone. But, you know, you could do straight edges. You can do edges angled out like, like this and then a curve and then in. You could do all sorts of edges. You can just make them straight. You can do little oval edges if you want to. We're going to do the dog bone. But uh, 
You guys can have fun with your edges of your cross any way you want them to be. That's right. Any way you want. Alright, so, and when you guys are done with your painting, make sure you share. Um, it's on the event page, and I already put the post to share your work. So, I'm Swirl Tap Dab and Big Boy. I'm going to grab uh, white paint. And I'm going to grab my yellow that has the blue in it. Okay. And I'm going to do a little dab dab over here. Because we want this to be a solid color. And I'm going to grab my blue that has the yellow in it. And I'm just doing a little dab dab to make sure it's a different green than what I put over here. Do you have your three kids following along? Oh, yay, Tippy! Hello to your kids. What's their names? Oh, awesome. Yes, we're here every single Friday, hon, and we're always kid-friendly. So, you found us now. So, since it's kind of like the color of this, I'm going to uh, add some more white, and I'm going to add some more yellow. Can't wait to do the Nosy Gnome on Tuesday. Yes, I love it. 6,000%. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. So, now I'm starting to get a different color green than what's on my canvas already. So, that's what we're going to go with. And I got my green paint on my brush. And what I want you to do, the first thing I want you to do is you got to find your center again. And I just want you to put, I want you to put in your line. Okay, for your cross. All right, and it's going to go in between these two right here. So, I want you to make your cross. Beep, 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 beep. We're going to make our cross. Hey, hey, Tracy. Tracy's here. Madison, Hunter, and Brian. Madison, Hunter, and Brian. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Madison, Hunter, and Brian. I love it. Brian's an Irish name. I had a friend named Brian, and Tracy's here. It's Friday, Tracy. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. It's Friday. So, the thing is, is that you want this smaller than what you actually want it, because what happens is, is the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. So, you always start an object out smaller than what you want it. And then once you have this cross piece put in, however you want it to be, then you're going to turn around and I'm going to do an angle out this way. Again, smaller than what you want it to be and an angle out that way because as you're filling this in, you're going to wind up making this thing get bigger and bigger. And I have to mix more paint. <laughs> So, one lesson, guys. Always mix more paint than what you think you're going to use because rematching your color up is going to be a little tricky. So, always make sure you mix enough paint for whatever you're doing. Okay? Because... This way, you don't have to worry. Happy Friday! You don't have to worry about matching it up later if you got to remix some more. All right, so once I have this angle and this angle, now I'm going to do a swoop this way. Swoop. Pull it down. And I'm going to do my swoop this way. Pull it down. Okay. And now... You're going to fill it in. Now, remember, we have our little Celtic design in here, so make sure that you're making this big enough to fit the Celtic design. But like I said, I want you guys to start off small with it, and then, and then, and then, you could just make it bigger as you're coloring it in. So... And this way you don't wind up with a George cross. So those of you that this is the first time you're painting with us, 
When we say we have something that's a George, <laughs> we call him George, because that means he's like the big guy. <laughs> we made him way too big, and uh, he's the big guy. So we're going to love him and squeeze him and hug him and call him George, because sometimes we paint things and they come out a little larger than the rest of it. So you want to make sure you don't do that. All right, so we got our one piece and don't make sure this is nice and thin because we got to paint right on top of it. So make sure it's nice and thin and it's the same process for the rest of the cross. So I'm going to do my angles out and then I'm going to do my swoop and I'm going to do my swoop just like that and then I'm going to fill it in. And like I said, as you're filling it in, you can make it bigger so then you know, you know it's big enough for you to put your Celtic design in there. All right? So that's what you want to make sure of. All right? Swooping it around. And like I said, you guys can make your cross edges any way you want to. It's your cross. You don't have to do the dog bone. That's what I call it. I call it the dog bone. Okay, and of course I didn't stay in my lines, so I have to make this even bigger. <laughs> yep, yeah, right, because I don't stay in my lines. We never stay in my lines. That's all right. We can always fix it. And I'm just pulling my brush around. If you notice, I'm just going down and then I'm kind of pulling it around this way. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. All right. And then we got to do the sides. Same thing with the sides. Angle this way. Angle that way. Swoop it in. Swoop it in. And as you're filling it in, like I said, you just want to make it big enough to... You're going to um, cover up any of this that's meeting and you might not have hit it with paint before. You want to cover that up and you want to make it big enough to fit your little Celtic design in there. We're swooping. Oh, yeah. And my last side. And I think I had just enough green paint. <laughs> so... And if you guys are getting, like, really technical, you know, you want to make sure that this lines up with this and this lines up with that, all right? And my angle out, my angle out, swoop it into the middle, swoop it on out, and fill it in, fill it in. There you go. Swoop, there it is. Okay, and don't keep playing with this because we need it to dry to do the um, Celtic pieces. So you can play a little bit, a little bit of playing is okay. If you want to like line it up better, fix an edge, you know, fill in a spot that might have been a brush stroke, that's fine. You can play a little bit, but if you notice I'm playing and I didn't grab any more paint. I'm just smoothing things out. All right, so you could play without actually adding more paint to your brush. You can smooth things out, right, just by moving around the paint that's on there already. Don't get paint happy. <laughs> Don't be all paint happy. <laughs> all right. Still didn't grab any more paint. I'm just taking it off of the, uh, the pieces. So there you guys go. Yep, that's it. You guys, how amazing you are. So we need this to dry, okay? So stop playing with it. Do your little tiny bit of fix-ups. Hi, everybody. Say hello, hello, hello. And everyone's super excited for Tuesday with Nosy Gnome. And then the following Friday, I think, is the Tulips one, which everybody's really excited over. So we're going to be doing that. And, um... We'll be all set. So, we gotta let this dry, so stop messing with it.
And while we're waiting for it to dry, we're gonna do our squiggles. So you can do you can do any type of blast you want. I did squiggles, all right, but you can do like like lines going out this way, straight if you want to. You can do any sort of design coming out from your cross that you want to do. Okay, I'm going to show you the squiggles, but if you want to do like lines coming out or, um, I don't know, whatever you want. Stars. Cynthia's not painting, but you thought you'd check in. I like that, Cynthia. I like that a lot. <laughs> hello, 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 Cynthia. How you doing, sweetheart? Cynthia's in the house. We got like two Cynthia's, I think. We got a bunch of Cynthia's. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to scroll tap dab uh, mini me. Uh, scroll tap dab mini me. He is my small flat brush. I call him mini me because he looks just like big boy. And I'm going to grab my white paint. And I'm going to do my little squiggles. So, we have one coming out from the sides. So, I'm just going to put my brush in there and squiggle. That's it. Just going to do a squiggle. And we have one coming out from the other side. Over here. From the little middle. See the middle part of this? So I just put my brush there and just do a little swoop de doo And there you go. There you go. And we're going to do this around. So we have uh, two coming out of this corner. Shoop. Right? And you can always go back and Fill in the paint and fix them. Doing good. Your back's hurting bad. Oh, well, we know how to fix that. We got to send healing prayers to Cynthia, everybody. And then the next one, I went um, from the corner and squiggled that in. Okay. So, and you could always, you know, if you run out of paint mid-squiggle, you can just add more paint to it. That's all. So get your swiggle shape in and then you could add more paint. Just try to be nice and careful not to get them like super thick. Don't be making George squiggles. Right, Tina? <laughs> okay. And if you notice, I'm resting my hand. I'm being really careful. Okay. Make sure when you rest your hand, wherever you're resting it, your paint is dry. Right, now we have two on this side, same thing. So we'll add a couple more here. Okay, so as we're waiting for things to dry, we're going to add more and more squiggles in. So we'll do uh, this one and another one, and then we could go back. This should be almost dry, and we can go back and add our other designs on our cross. Okay, so while you're waiting for something to dry, you can work on your design coming out from your cross. And we're going to swoop that up that way into the corner more. And I'm just very carefully... Following it along, filling it in better. That's all I'm doing, grabbing some more paint. Grabbing some more paint. But you could do your design coming from your cross any way you want to. It's all, you know, it's all whatever you want. It's your creation. It's your creation. We love when you go rogue. Go rogue. Go rogue. <laughs> yes. Praying for you, sweetheart. <laughs> Tina B, right? So, Madison Hunter, Brian, go rogue. And if you don't know what that means, your mom will explain it to you. Alright, so, I'm going to get the globs off of my mini-me here. Swirl tap, dab them. 
and I want to make a uh, dark green now. So I'm going to grab my blue, whole bunch of blue. All right, and as you're making some of these colors, like I said, make a good pile because when we do the Celtic design and you're coloring it in, you know, you're going to want to have a pile of colors. So I have my blue here, and I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to make a really dark green. I need more yellow paint because my yellow has uh, red in it, so I'm, I have to go grab more clean yellow paint. So, I'm going to make a dark, dark, dark green. And we're going to come in here and we're going to do a four-leaf clover in the center. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. You're going to do shoop, circle that way. Circle this way. One that way. And one this way. And you're just going to fill it in. Now, there's a four-leaf clover a three-leaf clover, and then a little cross. So once you get your basic shape in, then as you're filling it in, you can work on making it bigger if you need to because there is a three-leaf clover inside of here and then a little cross inside of that. So once you get those four little circles in that you know what your shape's going to be, now you could go in and as you're filling it in, you can make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going like a pencil. And this is why we use our shader brush, right? So we're not killing our smaller brushes as we're coloring this in. And I'm just moving it like a pencil and smushing. That's all I'm doing. And I'm just going as large as I can, staying inside of my clover, my, as my cross, <laughs> my clover, my cross, I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> you guys get it, <laughs> and then we need this little stem right here, Shoop. there it is, there's our little stem right there, alright, so, we got that guy going on. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the Celtic designs, okay? And we're going to do that with white, so make sure you have clean white paint because you got to do it with white first, so then as you add your colors, your colors are going to pop because they're on the white first, okay? So make sure you have clean white paint. You know, I poured black and there's actually no black in this painting. And I'm grabbing my clean yellow. And we're hanging out and having our Friday night party. Yes. <laughs> having fun. Ketchup mustard, everybody. Ketchup mustard. Ketchup mustard as you're doing this. Because we're going to do our Celtic design next. So, I want to explain to you how this goes, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? So, with the white paint, we're going to turn around and we're going to do a piece going this way, a piece going this way, and then we're going to do our horseshoe going through it. So all this overlapping stuff is going to happen when we fill in the colors. We're not worrying about any of that in and out, overlapping anything. We're going to be doing the white paint and we're just making the shape. I think so, Sue. I think that's how the song goes. I'm looking over a four leaf. I don't know. I can't sing. <laughs> but that does look familiar, okay? So it is the same design for the ones on the side. 
And then the one on the bottom is a little different. We'll do the one on the bottom, but we're not worrying about all the crisscross and overlap. We are just putting the design in with white paint. That's all we're doing. The overlapping part comes when you color it in. Okay, so I'm gonna swirl tap that mini me. I'm gonna get all that green paint out of them. The more you swirl, the cleaner it gets. I'm looking for four. I don't know how that song goes. I'm gonna change the lyrics all up with that. <laughs> and you guys will quickly know why I paint and don't sing. Alright, so nice clean brush, clean white paint. Let's do the one on the side so we don't put our hand in our nice uh, clover. Okay. So we're going to do a bend this way. We're going to do a bend this way. And you want this piece to be further down than that piece, okay? So you're gonna do a bend that way, and then you're gonna do a bend this way, so you want this to go like that, like an eyeball, and then follow it out. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the, the swoop horseshoe. Okay, and the swoop horseshoe goes goes in front of this. So you're going to swoop this around, but you wanna go in front of that part right there. And that's it. That's how you do the Celtic design. So let's do the same thing over on the other side, okay? So you're going to do the bend this way. And then you're going to do the bend this way, making that little eyeball. I got a little bit of a George going on there. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> and then you're going to swoop this around, but going in front of this part. So if you need to make these a little bit bigger, that's fine too. And you're going to swoop this around. Going in front of that crossover part right there. Okay, Bonnie. Hello, 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 sweetheart. Okay, now for the one on the top. So, I'm going to start over in this corner, and I'm going to come in this way. And then I want to make sure I make that little eyeball. So I'm going to angle this one and be able to make that eyeball. Okay, so you swoop this one around. And you swoop this one around. And then you're going to turn around and do the U, but you're going to go underneath this. So if you got to do that little piece first for yourself, you can do that little piece first for yourself. And then bring it up. And if you have to make this part a little bit bigger, that's okay. That's all good. 
Bonnie, you said that like you were late to class. Like, like, uh, <laughs> teacher, I'm late. <laughs> That's it, Bonnie. You got detention now. Too many demerits being late to class. <laughs> okay. And then, so those are those three. I'll give you a chance to catch up mustard with those three. So, like I said, you just want to make your little eyeball swoop in those and then when you do your horseshoe it goes in front of the crossover and we'll worry about the ins and outs when we um do the coloring and this one i made a little flat this really should have bent this way a little bit more i mean it happens i'm not perfect i'm uh i'm perfectly imperfect <laughs> So that's okay. We're okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Bonnie. You're a sweetheart. Thank you for the stars, hon. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys for all your support. Art supplies are not free, and you guys are keeping the lights on. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. So... Now we're going to turn around and do the one on the bottom. And the one on the bottom, the only thing that's different about the one on the bottom is the horseshoe is actually a point. Okay? So, when you do the lines going this way, you want to make sure you make a really big eyeball part. Alright? So, I'm going to do the eyeball part first. And then, I'm going to bring it out to the edges, because I want to make sure that's nice and big. Because instead of the curve, you're going to be doing a point. So you're going to pick a point in your eyeball. And you're going to sweep this around. Oh, I just smudged my white. You see that? <laughs> I told you, when you put your hand down, make sure your paint's dry. You know, that's what spit's for. Just clean that right up. <laughs> okay, so you want to pick a point in your eyeball. And then you're going to bring it around this way. So that's the only thing different with the bottom one is instead of a loop, instead of it being a loop, it's a point. Okay, now let's recover from all that exacty exacty stuff. Let's recover a little bit. Let's do some squiggles, right? Let's just shake it out, get it out of our system. Recover from having to concentrate a little bit there. A little concentration was needed, but we're okay now. <laughs> Let's do some squiggles. Okay, so I have two squiggles coming in from the top here. Shoo! All right, we got we to gotta recuperate from all that exactness. All that thinking we just had to do. That was too much thinking, Eve. Say, Eve, I had to concentrate too much on that one. I hear you. <laughs> Let's do our two squiggles going in this way. And then we have two. One here. I was like too much thinking. And we have one here. Just like that. Then, and then, and then. We've got one coming out of this corner over here. What? Whoop. There it is. There it is. And we got one coming out of this corner. Whoop. There it is. There's the other one. Whoop. 
Then we have, every time you see my hand move away, I'm grabbing more paint, just to let you know. Okay, and then we have one off of this edge. Shoop. <laughs> Cindy, you're back. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Welcome back. And then we have the one off of this edge. Shoop. Yes, Cindy. So we just did all of our crisscrossy stuff. We were kind of thinking a little too hard. So now we're doing the squiggles. Shake it out of our system. Let's get squiggly. And we're going to put that one in on the bottom. And then there's one on the other side. Yes. Squiggle that way. Okay. And you guys can make your squiggles any way you want. They're your squiggles. Like I said, you don't even have to do squiggles if you don't want to. All right, brush goes in the water. Ketchup mustard, guys. You guys got this. You guys got this. You can totally do this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yes! <laughs> Watch out, guys. Eve's all fired up tonight. Hello, everybody. All right. Next thing we're going to do, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the little three-leaf clover inside that one. Because I'm looking for a four-leaf clover that I looked over before. Is that it? Was that it, Sue? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Thanks, Cindy. So, always free to watch. Stars are enabled. Thank you so much for those who contributed stars. I think they're a penny each. I just want you guys to know what you're hitting. And I have Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. All right? You're keeping the lights on. Lights are important. Yes, they are. All right. So, oh, and I wanted to tell you guys. So, my TikTok, I'm doing the TikTok videos. And... Well, I had a whole bunch to post. This is a sad story. I had a whole bunch to post, and um, I needed more. What brush was I using for the squiggles? I was using uh, Mini Me. I was using my, my flat brush. Um, so I had a whole bunch to do, and I needed more storage, so I did this this little thing to get more storage for my photos and when I put them all in the storage TikTok didn't recognize where they were so uh, thank you so much Bonnie you're such a sweetheart my Bonnie Blue <laughs> isn't that an Irish song with the name Bonnie in it um, so it didn't recognize the videos so I lost all the ones that were on my phone because TikTok didn't know where they were and I couldn't get them back to where they were on the phone. Then I thought it was TikTok messing up, so I uninstalled and reinstalled it, the usual go-to when an app isn't working. And by doing that, I lost all the drafts that were on TikTok that I had to edit. So needless to say, the point of the story is, is that everything that I had set up and ready to go to have a lot of videos for you guys to watch, the little three minute clips of doing simple things, gone, gone, all of it, gone. So I have to redo the video. I have to do them all over again. So I apologize, those of you who are following my TikTok that um, I'm not posting a lot of art stuff on there. There's a lot of Butters videos. <laughs> because I lost them all. So, I am in the process of remaking all of those. And I will get them up there as soon as I possibly can. That's the story. And I'm sticking to it because that's what happened. Alright, I'm going to grab white paint. And I'm going to come in here. I'm using Mini Me again. And I'm going to come into my dark green that I made to make a lighter green. So that's what happened. So those of you following my TikTok, I do apologize. And I will have some more art videos on there as soon as I can. So I'm just making my light green. And we're going to come into this little guy right here. 
and now it's three circles. So do them small. Make sure your paint's dry before you put your hand on your canvas. And I'm going to do one little circle that way. And I'm going to do a little circle this way. And then I'm going to do a little circle that way. And then when I fill them in, I can make it pretty. I can make it pretty as I fill it in. Right? And then you can make it bigger as you're filling it in. Having a little more control and not worrying about your shape anymore. Not worrying about your shape anymore. So Tuesday is a paint party. It's a uh, St. Patty. I almost said Valentine's. Shows you what month I'm in. Um, it's a St. Patty's Day special, the Nosy Gnome. And then uh, next week, we'll get back into doing the how-tos. Okay, so got a circle this way and my circle that way. And I have to add a little stem. So I'm going to go in with Mr. Nifty, our detail brush. So any of you that send me support, make sure I get your address because I send out Mr. Nifty's for free. He is a small little brush that does details awesome. So, right, Tina B? Because I know how much you love those details. <laughs> I'm picking on Tina, but I can because she loves me. Hi. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go in with Mr. Nifty, and I'm going to draw my little stem. And I'm going to put him so he's going into the stem of the four-leaf clover. Just like that. There we go. So, you guys need to uh, get all your colors together of um, filling in our Celtic pieces, which are amazing. Oh, I saw so many Celtic crosses that were absolutely, you're anxiously waiting for yours. Yes, Bonnie, I sent them all out. Thank you so much. So, as long as I had your address, yours are on the way. I don't remember who I did, when, what, where, why, how, or whatever, but if I had your address, you're getting them. <laughs> so, roll call time. Bonnie's here. Sheila, Punky, Marsha. Cindy's back. Hello. Kim, Diane, and Cynthia. Carolyn. We have Andrea in the house. Sue is here. Tippy's hanging out with us. With Madison, Hunter, and Brian. Thank you so much. And Brenda and Tracy. <laughs> and Tina B's like, yep, because she lost one down the drain. <laughs> and her kitty cats like to play with the other ones. So now we're going to do the um, coloring of our crisscrosses. So whatever small brush you have is fine. I'm going to use Mini Me. Mini Me's in the house tonight. We're using a lot of Mini Me. And this is when you're going to do your crisscrossing. So you can do your crisscrossing any way you really would like to. I actually did mine different on, on a couple of different ones. So as I filled in my colors, I went like under this one and over that one. Okay. And then this one is over and then under. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Hello, 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 Lori. Hello, sweetheart. Welcome to the fam. Lori's in the house. We got a newbie, everybody. Hello, Lori. And Margie's coming on with us. Hello, 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 Margie. You found us. Yay. Welcome to the fam, Margie. So you can do your over and your unders any way you want to. So this one I went over, and then this one I went over. So the whole, this whole piece is over with these two pieces going under. So I'm going to show you how to do the over and under, but you can do your over and unders any way you want to do them. It doesn't, um, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. 
Hello, 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 ladies. So I'm going to grab my clean yellow paint. And let's do a close-up. Close-up. So I'm going to grab my clean yellow paint. And I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to do my one stripe here. And as I hit, as I hit the other one, I got to make the decision, am I going over or under with that one? And I'm going to go, hello, 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 I'm going to go under. So I'm going to skip over it and restart on the other side. And then as I hit this one, I'm going to go over it. So I am just going to pull the paint straight through. Okay, and that is the over and under. It's that simple, and it's really personal preference on which pieces you want over, which pieces you want under. It really doesn't matter. And it's also a personal preference of where you want your colors wear. So I'm going to do all my pieces that I want yellow. Just for the sake of time, you know, you can take your time and just work on one of them if you want to. It's all up to you. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to start this one. Up, oh, I'm coming to an intersection. What, what? I got to make a decision. So I'm going to go over. I'm going to pull it right through. And then I come into another piece. And I'm going to make that one under. So I'm going to skip over it. And restart on the other side. Okay. And for. That's the only ones I have yellow. So now I'm going to do my orange. I'm going to do my orange. Right. Which is red and yellow mixed together. Which I happen to have a whole bunch of that. From doing our rainbow before. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to do my orange stripe. And I'm coming to an intersection. Stop. Make a decision over under. I'm going to go under with this one. I'm going to come over. So I just come to the other side of it and restart. And then I'm at another intersection. So I got to make a decision. And I'm going to go over with this one. Yeah, I know. I went over with the yellow and I changed my mind. But that's okay because the orange cancels out the yellow. <laughs> so I can change my mind about the over and under if I want to. I'm allowed. It's my party and I'm allowed to do that. So, and just put that finish color in that one in. And that's it, guys. That's the over and unders of all of these pieces. That's all you need to do. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to do this one orange. And you can do your colors any way you want to. You can do whatever colors you want. I did all the rainbow colors in these guys. I'm coming to an intersection. I have to make a decision. I'm going to go under. And then I'm going to go over in the other one. So I try to do, on one line, I try to do one piece over and one piece under. So that sounds really confusing. So with the one piece of color, I try to have this one go under it and then follow through. And then this one over it. So with the one swoop, I try to have it do one of each. Okay, that's all. I just try to have it do one of each, so this way it gives it more of an interlocking type of effect. Right? And then one over here was orange in my original. So I'm going to come up here, and I want this piece to be under, so I'm going to skip. And that piece is going to be over, so I'm just going to follow it through. It's that easy, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I was looking up Celtic crosses. Some of them are so intricate and so cool looking. It was like mind blowing. So I'm gonna swirl tap dab my brush.
and I'm going to grab my red paint now. So if you notice, I'm working lighter to darker. I did yellow, then orange, then red. So this way, if, I'm, if I have an intersection and I want to change my mind, it'll be no big deal to go over it with darker color. Once you have the darker color on there, you're not going to be able to cover it up. So that's why I started with yellow, then went to orange. Now I'm going to go to red. Right, I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush and go to red. Once you have a darker color on this, you're not going to be able to change it. So this one, I just went over on both pieces. That's all, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going over. And then when you meet them up, I just... You know, I just met it in the middle. Okay, so this piece to this part could help if I had some paint on my brush to show you. So this piece to that part and then that, that, see? So I just met it up. I just made a line. That's all I did. And the parts that they intersect. And then this side is over. So you guys, you can totally, um... If I'm going too slow, you could totally go in and fill in the rest of yours. And on my original, I did about two coats of color on each one. So I'm not going to have you hang out with me while I color these all in for like the second time <laughs> or the third time. The more coats of color you do, the uh, brighter it's going to be. So that is completely up to you on how much time you want to spend on doing this. You got to make sure it dries in between the coats of color. So you have to do that. All right, I'm swirl tap dab in my brush. And I'm going to grab my uh, blue. I'm going to grab my blue. I'm going to come over here. And that part was over. And if you notice, I have, I'm holding my brush like a pencil. See, now you can see how I finished the line, the line up right there. See that? So I just brought the one part shoop, to meet up above the other part. And then this side was under that piece. So I'm holding my brush like a pencil. I'm going really careful. I'm doing my over and my unders. And that's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. So there's blue on this side. So shoop. I'm just going to do that right over both of them. I'm doing my swoop over the whole thing. He's just on top of all the pieces. That's it. I put him on top of all the pieces. Why? Because I can't. Because if I go to change my mind and I grab my blue, red, and white to make my purple. If I go to change my mind, my purple will cancel out this blue. So that's why I had you start with your lighter colors and then this way if you do an oopsie or whatever, the darker color is going to cover whatever you want it to cover. And you can change your mind and put a piece under the darker color if you need to. So I'll give you a close-up of that one. Now obviously this needs more coats because the orange you can see through. So I'd have to throw another coat of orange on top of that. Okay, so that's that one. And this is that one. Again, I would need to put another coat of orange on top of that. And then we have the one on the bottom, which needs another coat of all three. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you the one on the bottom. Once it dries, I can do another coat of color on top of it. So, I'm going to show you that with another coat of color. As you guys catch up mustard and fill in your crisscrosses any way you want to crisscross, crisscross it all. We have one step left. That's it. 
And then we're done rocking and rolling, everybody. I have nothing else to show you. Told you, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, just the way we like it. So, Margie and Lori, Andrea, Tippy, y'all came in on a good one because y'all, I'm talking like Tina B now, y'all, <laughs> my southern friend, <laughs> y'all came in on a good one. I did it again, I wasn't even trying to. Um, because this one is uh, nice and straightforward and there's nothing really, it looks tricky, but it's not. But it's not. So I'm going to show you when you put the second coat on how it pops even more. So I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush and I'm going to grab my yellow and I'm going to put my second coat of yellow on here real quick like because watching me color I'm sure isn't that exciting but I'm going to go in and fill in all of those white places that I had then I'm going to grab my orange, and I'm going to do my second coat of orange. And if you get any globs, just push into the object, and that would get the globs off, okay? So if you get any globs, you push into the object that you're painting. So when I put the, <laughs> which I wiped on my shirt, <laughs> you are rubbing off on me. Oh, absolutely, Deborah. Hi, sweetheart. Welcome back. All my replays are always, always available on my page and on YouTube. So no worries with that one, Deborah. And uh, I, I rubbed the uh, paint on my shirt. And now I have orange on my arm. So <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. But you guys can see, those of you with the craft paint, this is a great painting for you. Because your colors are going to come out without having to do a lot of coats. But you can see how the orange fills in very nicely, putting the other coat on top of it. And then swirl tap dab my brush, grab my red, and do my second coat of red. And we have this one all filled in with the red. And since I saved my green color from before, another reason you should make a big pile. I love you too. Um, you could always go in, right? So when you mix a color, you want to make sure you mix a lot of it because then you could always go in and clean up anything that you need to clean up. So remember that smudge that I made before? I can go in having the original color again and clean that all up. So that's why you want to make extra of your colors too. So this way, if you have to fix any of the parts, you can go back and fix them. And then the top Celtic was just uh, blue, purple, and like, and I added white to my purple. That's what the top one was. So it was uh, blue. I'm gonna do my blue. Okay. And I went over that piece, and I'm going to go under this piece. Do, do, do. Nice and careful. Fill it in. Swoop. Swoop. And then it was purple, blue, and red. And um, I added white to make it a lighter purple.
So blue and red and white. And I'm gonna make this cross over both of them. I like this loop crossing over both of them, but like I said, guys, it's personal preference on how interlocking, you know, how many crisscrosses you want to do. Um, so you do what you like to do. And then I just um, grab just blue and red without any white to make a really dark purple. And I did the other piece. A really dark purple that's all I did and I'm gonna go under this one and now say I want to change my mind say I don't I want this to have a crisscross over it now with my darker color I can do that because it's gonna cancel out the lighter color so somewhere in the middle you want to change your mind and then of course I'd wait that for that to dry and I put another coat on it. You wear your top. Cindy says I wear my tops inside out. That way paint is not shown from the front. If I get any on me, that's a really good idea, Cindy. <laughs> ah, so I have two, two fibs that I tell myself. One is I'm going to remember that. That's the one fib. The other fib is I'm not going to get paint on that. <laughs> so, that being said, I have a whole drawer full. I have a whole drawer full of clothes that have paint on them. So, we're going to do roll call one more time. I'm going to show you the last step, and we're going to be all set for tonight. So, we have... Bonnie in the house, my baby Bonnie, Blue Bonnie, whatever her, uh, that song is. I know there's a song out there, Bonnie Blue, something like that. And Sheila's hanging out with us. Punky's here. Marsha, Cindy, Kim, Diane, Cynthia, Carolyn, Andrea, welcome, sweetheart. Sue, Tippy, welcome with Madison, Hunter, and Brian. Yes, we got Brenda hanging out with us. Tracy, Lori, and Margie, thank you so much for joining me tonight. And I have Cindy's hanging out with us. Oh, I, I said you, Cindy. That's right. You came, you came, left, came back. <laughs> so I'm going to grab Tiny. Tiny is a small round brush for details. So whatever tiny small brush that you have, he's just a really, you know, he's a round brush for the details. And I'm going to grab my white paint. And I'm going to come into the middle here. And again, I'm going to do my cross. And I just painted this, right? So I'm going to put my hand in it. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do my cross. Nice and small. With just the cross pieces. And then I put a little angle up this way. Up that way. Finish it off. Angle out this way and this way. Same with the other side and fit the little cross inside the shamrock and there you guys go we have Irish blessings Thank you. You are having fun and can't wait for Tuesday. Awesome, Tippy. That's amazing. I'm so glad to hear it. Diane, they just said that they're having fun, so we're good looks. <laughs> so there you guys go. That's Irish Blessings, guys. You guys totally have this. You can have so much fun filling in your colors, doing your intersections, whatever you want to do. Nice. Sue has uh, dollar store t-shirts and men's shirts from thrift stores for painting. That's a really good idea, Sue. Yeah, I have an apron. I really, really, really do. See, I have an apron. Thank you, Cindy, but um, I never put it on. <laughs> I never put it on. I don't know why. It's just hanging here. It's decoration. 
That's what it is, because I don't put it on. So, you guys, you got this. You totally got this. Your kids totally loved it. They love arts and crafts. I love it. Thank you, Deborah. Yes, and the replay will be available for you, sweetheart, so you'll be all set. I think we're good in our new spot. I think you guys can actually see better because there's not as much of a shadow on the top as it was before. It's not causing that bad of a glare. So, I think our new spot is golden. Your mom makes aprons and you have two and you always forget to wear them. Yeah, I have one. I literally, I think I've worn it twice. I really should start wearing it again. Makes me look professional. <laughs> Makes me look smart. Like I know what I'm doing. So... Guys, I'm on this page, YouTube, TikTok, check me out, follow, subscribe, like my videos. Thank you, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me tonight. Thank you to all the new fam members. Welcome to the fam. Like I said, anybody that sends me support via Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, stars, make sure I get your address. Message me with your address. Hi, Daniel. Um, do not... Do not post it. Private message me your address. Because I don't want your address to uh, be public. And my pages are public. So, 6,000% private message it to me. Kind of like garden gloves. You have them, but you don't wear them. Yes, Diane. <laughs> I do that too. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Tina B. Another great tutorial. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, so much. This one was quick and easy, like pulling off a Band-Aid. <laughs> like pulling off a Band-Aid. So, I want to thank everybody, and um, thank you for joining me. And with that, I'm going to say goodnight. So, you all want my heart. You enjoyed it, Bonnie, and you'll watch the replay. Sounds good. So, you all want my heart, and um, have fun and go create, okay? Mm -hmm. Good night, everybody. <laughs>